Virgos, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, this will be for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Venus arising. This is um your feelings versus theirs, their feelings versus yours. What's happening to those of you who are connected to someone? Um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus arising, and those of you who are cross watchers connected to a Virgo. So this is January 2022. Before we start getting into those February energies. Um, I want to see what's going on for you, Virgo, in your love situation with the person you're connected to. If you are no, if you are not connected to someone right now, Virgo, you may still um, listen to this reading or receive the messages in this reading because it can resonate for a past situation that you may want clarity on, or it can resonate for someone that you haven't connected to just yet. And this will be your situation months from now, right? Um, so let's see what's going on between you and this certain somebody all right so for virgos all right how is your person feeling about you virgos how is virgos person feeling about them temperance very calm relaxed a relationship a queen of pentacles confirmed they're very comfortable with you. Um, you bring peace to their life. It doesn't look like you're stressing them out in any way. The fool, yeah. I feel like you, um, Virgos, are connected to somebody who, um, how this, um, hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so, um, yes, we ended, we left off with the full energy. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who sees you as, um, another chance at love, right? Or a, a chance at love that is unmatched, right? Okay. You're dealing with somebody who views you as very important to them. Okay. You're the main person in their life or the only person in their life for a lot of you. Um, you have brought this person a sense of peace and a sense of self love. You are very healing. You bought some healing love here. You bought some fun, exciting, playful love into this person's life. So how they feel about you is they feel like you've made a difference in them, okay? This person here feels very loyal. So far, we have very strong Sagittarius, Capricorn, um, Aquarius energy. You guys could also be connected to another Virgo or a Taurus even. But I feel like the energies for how this person is feeling about you, Virgos, is they're set. They're clear that you are the person that they want to be with, right? They'll take this risk with you when it comes to love over and over and over again because it's just that exciting to them because it's just that meaningful to them so let's see how you feel about this person virgos how is virgo feeling about the person they're connected to um six of wheels all right how is virgo seven of cups here how is virgo feeling about the person they are con uh, yes the person they are connected to the sun so you guys have some ha matching fulfilling happy energies here um, I actually feel like this is one of those relationships where it's fairly good. Okay. Um, it's, it's for the most part, the goods definitely feel like they're outweighing the bad, at least right now in this current energy. So you do have a, a peaceful relationship with the person you're dealing with Virgos, mainly because they've reciprocated the time, energy, love, concern, care that you have given them. They've given you the same in healing energy that you have given out. So it feels like this is a connection that's worth investing in, Queen of Wheels or Queen of Pentacles, because it's, I'm sorry, um, continuing to invest in, because you both already invested here, but continuing to invest in because there's a lot more coming right a lot, there's a lot more in the future for you and this person that um it's it's so good right now right you can only imagine it getting better so the seven of cups and the the sun are major for me honeymoon energy vibes um some of you are going on you know a, another honeymoon with this person if you're already married a lot of you are renewing vows here there's a love where you're making your vows or making your 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 intentions to each other very clear. So um, this is a working relationship too, right? This is a relationship where you guys work well together. You listen to each other. You heal each other, okay? You understand each other or you work to understand each other. These pentacles are talking about the work that you guys have to do that may not always be easy, but you get it done because you love each other very much. So temperance here for how your person feels about you. Why do we have this? 
why do we have this temperance for how um this is a long-term relationship a lot of you may have known this person for a long time um what is this temperance or you will know them for a long time it's the ten of swords um i feel like this person virgo how they feel about you is that um with this ten of swords it feels like this person was dealing with a lot of pain when you came into their life this even feels like they may have been dealing with death okay they may have been dealing with some sort of sickness they may have been dealing with friends betraying them something that took a lot out of them energetically so if that healing energy this is explaining the story right you literally came into their life with your laughter with your um with your um optimism um with your love and i feel like you healed this person so i do feel like this person feels grateful to you they feel like they owe you okay um there's a lot here about you coming into this person's life at a time where they didn't think they were going to make it Okay, talk to your person, see where they were when you met them, right? See how they were doing, what they were dealing with. It feels like you guys came in and sort of changed the trajectory of their life. And for that, they will always be grateful. So the queen of pentacles or the queen of wheels here is letting me know you're dealing with somebody who feels like you're the one for them. They're loyal to this connection. They're faithful to you, at least in this energy, the six of cups. They feel like you're their soulmate here. Um, they feel like they got a good thing going and they're not going to do anything to mess it up. Like, like this person is like, no, I'm holding on. Okay. I have a soulmate here. I have somebody, some of you may have known this person since childhood. Right. And, um, I feel like others of you have just known this person for a long time, or you feel like you've known them for a long time. Um, this person is, is uh, deeply connected to you outside of you guys like knowing each other in this world. So there is a soulmate energy here, the fool. Aquarius or Aries energy it definitely feels like um this person is uh committed to to living a life of you know I don't know what's next but with Virgo it's always an adventure so I do feel like this person loves the excitement you bring to their life this wanted to come out in the reverse so they may be coming out of their shell dealing with you but I'm doing um upright so Hermit actually comes out. Yeah, this person is is wanting to live their life with you. They're they want to have this 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 joy and this never ending excitement with you, right? Even when things get a little bad, when finances get a little eh, it feels like you got a keeper. You have a keeper here. All right. Um, it feels like you have somebody who sees you for who you are, who lets you be you who gives you your space, who gives you what you need, and they allow you to, you know, give what you have. And so I feel like, again, this is a relationship that works. It just works between you and this person, Virgos, Eight of Pentacles here, all right? So how you feel about them with the Six of Wheels, you're very grateful for them too, okay? I do feel like you have somebody who treats you um, somebody who you don't mind treating. You guys may buy each other things very frequently. You both feel very successful here. You both feel like you have it together. So this is a connection where it feels like you're equally matched. Um, five of swords here, how you feel about them. This is you and your Virgo energy, but you know, some of you may feel like, um, it's almost impossible to believe that you have somebody being this faithful to you or this loving towards you. What are they up to, right? What are the odds? What are my odds, right? That's your pessimism creeping in there. So I do feel like you have these moments where you may not trust this person, all right? Virgos, you may not trust this person. You may be a little bit suspicious at times of the love that they give, but this is coming from a place of you really loving them and, and knowing that you're taking this risk, this chance on something that could absolutely break your heart if it fell apart and didn't work out. And you're taking that chance anyway, but you do have your moments of sabotage where you can't believe it, where you may think things that, you know, think your partner's doing things that they're not, where you may accuse them of doing things that they're not, where you may just be difficult just to test them to see how they handle it. Um, but I do feel like you're connected to somebody who has challenged um, who has challenged your thought process and made you really see that real love exists. And yes, I can love you unconditionally, Virgo, and there is no catch. Okay. So the seven of cups, how you feel about them. Um, I feel like a lot of you are seeing the future with this person. This seven of cups does not feel like confusion, especially, be, uh, especially because it's, um, coming before the sun. This feels like, you're, you're, it feels like you're, um, 
overcome with love. Look at all of these cups. We're used to seeing a bunch of options in the um, seven of cups, a bunch of different things, a crown, a snake, a cup, right? These are all the same thing, water. You're overwhelmed with feelings of love um, because of this person, okay? You constantly, they constantly submerge you in their affection, okay? You could be connected to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, um, but you're dealing with somebody who's definitely making you see things differently from the way you're used to seeing them. And again, you don't like that all the time. Five of Wands, you may fight against it at times. If there's anybody resistant in this connection, it is Virgo, right? So for those of you who are cross watchers and you feel like your Virgo is resisting this love at times, they are, right? Because there's something about being in the watery energies that makes the earth energy very uncomfortable. Um, and I feel like that's a natural sort of reaction to real genuine love, but it can be challenging, right? So I do feel like you have somebody that for the most part, I also pick up like, um, picking fights just to make it exciting here with the five of wands, like, um, that energy of somebody, you just pick an argument just because things are so good all the time or things are so solid and stable all the time. You know, let's just switch things up a little bit, right? Did you leave that cup in, you know, the bathroom? Did you do this? Did you just to start the fight to get the passion going, get the blood going just so you can, you know, have your way with this person? So I do feel like there's a lot of, um, you guys get along so much. Sometimes you just need those moments, but it's mainly coming from you, Virgos, right? Um, and I do, again, the Eight of Pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck. So yes, this is a, work, a relationship that just works. It just fits. It just makes sense. All of that. The sun, all right? How, how um, you know, you feel about this person. You're happy they came into your life. Plain and simple. You're happy you found them. You're happy you, you, you met them. Leo energy showing up. I'm going to do that again. Um, but you're just happy they came into your life. They've healed you. The star here. They brought you joy. Um, a lot of you are dealing with somebody again who, when you guys met, there was some, some, some trauma being worked out, some pain happening. And you guys both feel like you saved each other. Okay, that's what I'm picking up from this. You saved each other. You gave each other hope again, made each other believe in love again. So there's a very um, abundant, okay, relationship here. That's like the main word that I can think of is this is a very abundant connection. All right, your mutual energies towards each other, Queen of Wands. Also, the physical side is phenomenal. You guys have a good time there with that Queen of Wands energy. I feel like you guys are also very spiritual together. Um, you have a very deep connection, a very deep knowing of each other. You, you understand each other like no one else. Eight of Cups here. Um, this, this, this is that energy of, um, making you reevaluate, you know, what your focus is. Some of you came into connections, Virgo, with somebody who was either very focused on themselves or that was you very focused on yourself, very focused on your career. So from time to time, this person will, you know, um, you know, cause you to reevaluate your priorities and put them back on the roster. And the same thing goes for you, right? You guys do feel very busy, very successful. So you have to make time for each other. But for the most part, that eight of cups doesn't feel like loss and sadness. It just actually feels like you've always found a way to, to, be this to a cup. So always found a way back to each other. Um, your mutual feelings are represented as it doesn't matter um, what you guys go through. You always get through it together. Confirmed with the hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgos, you actually have a really good partner here. Somebody who feels like they love you unconditionally. And it doesn't matter what you go through again with that eight of cups together, what lows you have, what mountains you have to climb. You got a, a lifelong partner here to do it with. All right, Virgos, so that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box. Talk to you soon.